Ford. What's going on, boxing fans? This is Kenneth right. and George, the boxing genius. What's up, man? What's He's up? aboard right now. He's actually helping me move. I got to grab my stuff from Orlando, and we're, I'm trying to take it up to uh, Miami. We're just trying to use his geniusness and trying to sort out yeah, how, how to go about it. I'm telling you how the genius is. Get the fuck out. Move out. <laughs> That's the best way of putting it. <laughs> no, but we're, we're sitting there just just, just talking boxing and, and, and things like that. But I wanted to, I'm here, you know, the weigh-in for tomorrow night showdowns is going to happen. You got Adrian Brown Broner, he's fighting on the card. You got Keith Thurman is fighting on the card. Um, but I wanted to get his expertise, the genius's expertise, and see exactly what he thought about the, the fight between Lamont Peterson and Danny Garcia. There's a lot of boxing channels. A lot of people feel as though that's a legitimate fight. They feel as, you know, Lamont Peterson has a chance to beat Danny Garcia. They feel as, you know, Danny Garcia is fighting the best opposition. Um, I want to see what the boxing genius has to say about that. So, coming into this fight, you have Peterson. Peterson. He's taking on Danny Garcia. You know, Peterson beat Santana. He beat Jean. He beat. He lost to Matisse. Um, he beat Khan, which actually I think Khan got robbed in that fight. That was a rob. That was, uh, that a, was rob. a robbery. But you got Garcia. He's stepping in the ring April 11th at a catch weight of 143. Now, both fighters are at what? 140 fighters, right? Yeah, they're both 140 So why do you think they're at uh, a catch weight at 143? And then you got Garcia. Everyone knows Garcia. Garcia's known, you know, broke stardom when he, he knocked out Omir Khan. Lucky punch. That was lucky. Uh, it doesn't matter. He ended up knocking out <laughs> Garcia. He beat Morales. He beat Judah. He beat uh, Matisse, which is best fight yet on his resume. He looked really, really good against Matisse. He looked good there. He beat the shit out of Herrera. No, 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 no. That was a fucking rob. They gave him that fight to Mauricio Herrera kicked his ass. And, uh, and, and then... And then he put on the best performance against the toughest fighter that he's ever fought. His last fight against uh, Saika, whatever his name is. That's a fucking <laughs> Who the fuck is Saika? I don't even know, man. So do you think uh, Danny Garcia is ducking and dodging or what? what's up? Yeah, Danny Garcia is ducking and dodging. I mean, I mean, I said in my last videos, you know, that uh, at the 140, I'm wondering why he never gave a, a, a rematch to a man coming. And he hasn't allowed that rematch. I mean, you know, they haven't given Amir Khan that rematch at 140. It was bypassed. Amir Khan has gone up. But as far as now, is Danny Garcia fighting Lamar Peterson? You know, Lamar Peterson is a great opposition for Danny Garcia. But uh, do I think that he has the guts, the power, the skills, the strategy to beat Danny Garcia? I don't think he has that. Danny Garcia is going to probably beat him in this fight. He'll probably beat him on a decision, unanimous decision. But Lamar Peterson, to me, is not a guy that should be ranked to me. Well, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm basically saying, like, say, for instance, okay, Matisse wanted his rematch. Amir Khan wanted his rematch. Now, looking at the 140 and looking at the opposition there, wouldn't you think a rematch... Matisse earned, I would say, his last performance that he put on. He put on a great performance. Right. I think he earned more of an opportunity uh, than, Lamont than, Peterson. than Lamont Peterson. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Lamont Peterson is not a contender right now. I don't think Lamont Peterson should even get into the ring with Danny. Like I said, it should be guys who have not been given the opportunity on a rematch. The lucky punch by Don, by Danny, knocked out Amir Khan. Hey, give him the damn rematch. He never did. And I don't think Amir Khan's going to worry about that right now anyway. And, He's going to 147. And I'm shocked that Lamont Peterson's even a contender for yeah. Danny Garcia. I think yeah. Danny Garcia needs to take on something like, you know, Chris Algieri will be a good yeah, fight be a good for Danny fight. Garcia. Yeah. Chris Algieri will be a good fight. Um, stylistically, I think that'll be a good fight. Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner. That's another one. I don't sure. know why promoters are, are, are keeping, you know, they, they want to drag yeah. out these fighters they as long as possible. There you go, money. That's all it is. It's money. But, it, you know, I see that the WBO, WBA, whatever the case may be, they're they're demanding fights, but they're kind of, you know, the money getters like the, the Adrian yeah. Broners, there's not really much demand there. They're not, they're, they're letting the shit ride. These guys are WBC. WCBC with 
with Mauricio Solomon, he's full of shit. Mauricio is about money. I don't blame him. I do. You want to protect the boxer. You want to give him that opportunity. These promoters are making a lot of money. But then our fans, we the fans, we're not seeing actually what we want to see in boxing, man. Look how long we had to wait for Floyd Mayweather Jr. to fight Pacquiao. You know, and this is the shit that's been happening on, and it's going to drag on. You know, look at Cotto. Cotto was supposed to be fighting Canelo. He says, no, he don't want to fight Canelo. He wants to wait around for Floyd Mayweather Jr. He got fucked in the ass. There's a lot of things. Then you have Peter uh, uh, Ch Chocolate, Peter Quillen, who out and say he didn't want to fight Triple G. So he dodged and went somewhere else with another promoter. And, you know, hey, there's some up. There's some up coming. But, hey, don't worry about it. We're gone. Now, what I was going to tell you, I was going to ask you, um, one of the things, what the hell are these guys doing? Something. But anyways, oh, um, what yeah, I was going to well, ask you is that boxing right now, it's not even about the best fighting the best. It seems like everything, you know, each fight is planted and lined up for a big yeah, fight. That's that, what that, that, so what I'm asking you, Danny Garcia against Lamont Peterson, obviously they're not saying... They're not saying, you know what, Lamont Peterson earned the opportunity to fight Danny Garcia and get a title shot because that's not the case. They're trying to line something up with wow. with with it looks appealing, making it as though Danny Garcia is fighting tough opposition. Tough but they're lining something up for Danny Garcia, and it's not going to be Adrian Broner. It's not going to be Amir Khan, which I, uh, that would be a good fight at 147. Danny Garcia already said that he would like this year, 2015, to come up to 147. So I want to know, at 147, who are they going to line Danny Garcia after Lamont Peterson? Because I have a feeling after Danny Garcia beats Lamont Peterson, he's going to announce that he's going to go to 147. Who's going to be the person that you think, if, if Danny Garcia, or when Danny Garcia beats Lamont Peterson, what 147 fighter fighting today, legitimate, do you think Danny Garcia is going to fight? Legitimate? I mean, are we talking business wise? Making business money? wise, obviously, it's business. We're making right. money. Uh, could we could we be talking about Floyd Mayweather Jr.? Could we talking about Floyd Mayweather Jr. if he beats Pacquiao on May the second? You're lining up Danny Garcia coming up from 140, and Floyd Mayweather Jr. As we all know, loves to fight 140s coming up and champions because that's no, the that's, same. I think and, you're, I think you're confusing it by Manny Pacquiao. Uh, uh, you know, Manny Pacquiao might, likes to invite you people. Might, you might be you <laughs> might be confusing that, you know what I'm saying? They might be they might be setting that up because I think at one time Danny Garcia said he would love to fight Floyd Mayweather Jr. So that might be a setup right there. Or even Pacquiao. So what's your prediction against Lamont Peterson versus Danny Garcia? I say Danny Garcia is going to beat him on a UD. Yeah, his decision? Yeah, so you know, the decision. I have a feeling Danny, you know, he's gonna, he has a good boxing skills enough to beat Lamont Peterson. And again, Lamont Peterson is good. He's quick. He moves around the ring. But he's not, to me, a contender. Somebody's been Mike, I, I listen, look, I listen to some top, you know, I, I look at some YouTube boxing channels. And I know there's a YouTube boxing community and the rankings and shit like that. I, I can give two shits about that. But anyways, which we'll, we'll talk we'll talk about because you were invited to go ahead and make a debate. But who? We'll, we'll, Somebody's motherfucking <laughs> paying me to make no debate. If you pay me some money to make a debate, I'm more than happy. I'm doing this shit right now with you. You're my son. For free. Yeah, man, yeah, for free. I'm not a fucking politician. I'm not running for governor. I'm not fucking running for mayor. So I don't give a fuck about YTBC and make no goddamn debates. If you pay me some fucking money and tell me, the boxing genius, we got a debate for you to go on how much you got for me, bitch. I'm like, ah, fuck, I give a fuck about debates. I'm talk I'm making a debate with you right now. And it's fun. But, yeah, fuck, I give a fuck about debates. I'll tell, tell you what, you ain't got no money you can kiss my ass. That's what you could do. No, but I, I listen to the boxing community. I listen to YouTube channels, and they, they're making it seem as though, you know, you know, Lamont Peterson, stylistically, Lamont Peterson's a good counter. You know, he's a good boxer. He knows how to box. But I'm trying to realize, like, what, stylistically, what, what type of fighter are you looking at? Because Lamont Peterson hey. is, he, he, he doesn't, he's not a, a Devin Alexander. He's not an Amir Khan. Look how he fought Amir Khan. He rushes people. That's how Lamont Peterson works. That's how, he, as far as boxing ability, he tried to do that shit against uh, 
uh, was it Lucas Matisse? Yeah, Matisse. And what happened? He got his ass kicked. He got his ass kicked. He got his ass demolished. But as far as I'm, I'm hearing that Lamont Peterson's a good boxer, yeah, yeah. and he's a look. He's not a good boxer. It's, I know he says you're not a decision. My prediction, SBN Boxing's prediction. I think Danny Garcia, and everyone says Lamont Peterson has a good chin. Look, Danny Garcia is gonna knock his ass out. <laughs> he's gonna knock him out, and as soon you as he so? knocks, I think he's gonna knock him out. And I think he's going to knock him out early. I don't even think he's going to 10 rounds. I think he's going to knock him out in like six. Lamont Peterson, it, it, I won't even say he's a B-class fighter. I think he he did his time, but I think he, he he's going to be bait. He's, he's just riding on his name. That's it. But we're here at the Little MGM right now. Um, subscribe, friend, request, and hopefully, you know, we can get George the Boxing Genius to do some debating. Uh, <laughs> That's like that. I ain't debating to no one with anybody. But anyway, you know, I mean, Lamont Peterson, like you were saying, and you said before, Amir Khan, if you look at that, Amir Khan had to go to Philadelphia. I mean, yeah, D.C. He had to go to D.C. He went to D.C. to fight Lamont Peterson got at D.C. And he got fucking robbed. At that time, that's when the people started trying to mount and bring Lamont Peterson up in the world of boxing. You had a you had a no name or sitting down with the referees. Yeah, you have fucking And then you have referees, you look at their scorecards and yeah. then people are scribbling yeah. out and changing the numbers, and but yet they still give the division the decision to and, Lamont. And then and the man gets he gets deducted point for pushing, for pushing. Well, the no, same shit. Fuck, have you ever heard some shit like that? With boxing, man. Have you seen that shit with with Cotto fighting the second time around, Cotto fighting Margarito. Oh, he does That's push his style. Him. You got pushing. Floyd Mayweather Jr. pushing. Everybody Floyd pushing. Floyd Mayweather Jr. pushing. And you don't give him a warning. You deducted him. Two points. Two points in the last round. That's what caused the fucking fight. <laughs> then you got these fucking referees. I mean, the, the they're judges. Scri they're scribbling. They're over here playing tic-tac-toe with one another fucking other. What the fuck you doing? Why and you and then you got some no-name. He's not even a referee sitting next to a referee right. saying, hey, uh, you should just. <laughs> oh, I know. There was one There was one judge. There was one judge that my understanding was he was the guy that was also smoking crack with the mayor of D.C. at one time. I forgot his name. That was the judge that was there. <laughs> I don't know. But he must have been doing that, man. So, you know, people, I'll see you around. And forget about this goddamn debate shit. If you ain't got no fucking money, you can kiss my ass. All right, friend request, subscribe. And tomorrow night, big nights. Catch us.